two separate air scares, two separate flights packed with passengers and crew suddenly fearing that there were bombs on board. The case is unrelated, but both frightening. This Egypt Air 777 bound for New York City. Suddenly, military jets scrambled, escorting the flight as it was diverted to Scotland. After someone found a note in the bathroom saying a bomb was on board, it even had a seat number. The other flight on Frontier Airlines headed for Denver when a passenger told a flight attendant he had a bomb in his backpack. The flight crew piling seat cushions on top of the bag, doing anything to protect passengers. We have both flights covered tonight, beginning with the one still unfolding at this hour, the one headed for New York City. Investigators still on the scene tonight, and ABC's Nick Schifrin is in London. Flight 985 had been in the air for four hours when passenger Nadwa Tafik found a horrifying handwritten threat. When I went into the restroom, I found this note by the sink. It said in English, I'll set this plane on fire. She immediately told the crew the pilot headed to the closest airport. The British Air Force scrambled two Typhoon jets and escorted the plane to Glasgow. The whole time, Tafik had to sit in her seat, not knowing her fate or the fate of her one-year-old daughter. Very nervous. I'm traveling by myself with my daughter, obviously concerned about our safety. I told one of the stewardess, um, I don't know if this is a prank or what, and they said, no, this just isn't a prank. This can't be a prank. The plane sat on the ground for hours. The crew tried to keep passengers calm. It didn't work. Everyone's obviously very concerned. There's babies on board who are all getting very frustrated. So it's, it's a bit uh, chaotic on the plane. Whoever wrote the note left a possible clue, a seat number, 46D. Police are questioning all 326 passengers and crew, checking passports, trying to discover who threatened the plane. There's somebody who wants to be stupid enough to put themselves into a criminal position and threaten an airplane. We have to respond. There's just no two ways about it. Tonight, the passengers still don't know whether the threat was real. Scottish police are treating this as a criminal, not a terrorist incident. But for everyone on board, David, it was tense and, as Tafik herself put it, very, very scary.